Hello everyone. So this is a Neo Geo AES console that I'm trying to fix. So upon powering it on, you can see it does some garbage on screen. So there it is. Um, uh, it's a fairly high in, uh, serial number. So at first I thought it was low serial, but it wasn't the case. Uh, also, you, you should never trust a serial number because a lot of um, uh, case swap happened during uh, console life. So, but in this case, it wasn't a, a low serial as I thought. So after opening up, you can see. Uh, the PCB, it's a uh, 3.6, uh, so the latest uh, model made, excepting the 4, which is uh, very rare. But uh, so this is a 3.6, there's already a Universe uh, BIOS version uh, 4. Also, uh, a quick look uh, a bit. Uh, I saw some uh, some work around the CPU area, so now, now I'm taking taking it off the bottom, the plastic bottom, to see if there was there is some damage uh, on it. So it was uh, because of, uh, of the BIOS install, it was uh, obviously previously tampered with. Uh, there's some weird, uh, weird uh, bits of uh, red plastic on the corner. There's also the um, common RGB fix, uh, gel bar fix, that consists of cutting three, three traces that go under uh, a crystal. So you can see there's a bodge wire that was a repair. Uh, where the BIOS is, you can see, uh, obviously socket installed, so there was some some work here, some soldering in med, uh, made. So I'm powering the console, so you can see uh, it powers on with the LED. I here I will. Uh, check if I get 5 volts from the voltage regulator so checking at uh, regulator pins and uh, we do find uh, 5 volts or so minus 5 because my probes are reversed but uh, it is uh, 5 volts then uh, checking at uh, a logic chip and we also get 5 volts so it's good checking for uh, Unusual hot chips, they all seem to be fine, not uh, not some not uh, obvious uh, overheating. So after this, I checked uh, with a logic probe. I checked if the reset line wasn't stuck low. It wasn't. So when I checked if the result line goes to the important chips, it does. So this is not a reset line problem. The next step, I checked the data and address line of the 68K that uh, was tested good. And then uh, so I checked uh, all the sig uh, signals and I found out that the 68K clock line that goes from D0 to 68K got a very flaky connection you can see that the very st uh, resistance varies uh, if I push on the pin so you can see it goes uh, from 2, 300 to 10, 5 ohms so my guess it, wa it was uh, that the trace that goes uh, under the chip was damaged since uh, under I couldn't see all the source of damage 
I also found out that uh, the watchdog uh, jumper was uh, shorted. It shouldn't have been. It was uh, probably an attempt to make it uh, work without uh, rebooting. So I unsoldered it. It should, shouldn't be jumpered. So then here I will make just a little jumper that go to the last wire to the trace that goes under the, the chip on the other side to the leg of the 68k clock uh, input so it is gonna be a very short wire very short jumper wire here I use it some fine wire the, the jumper is gonna be a bit of uh, on the long side so we'll do some some kind of uh, of loop, but it uh, will be just fine. I will just uh, flatten it uh, around. And yeah, I'm trying to make it as short as as possible. But since it's a very very short distance. Uh, Gonna be some excess wire, but it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be working all right. So once uh, I'm done with this, I will be uh, testing the console with the um, diagnostic BIOS and uh, uh, the diagnostic M1 on uh, on the cartridge. Since uh, I don't have many, I don't have. Uh, I only have one, one game on console. I modified it to 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 be able to be used uh, as both a uh, game to test, a full game to test the console, and the diagnostic BIOS M1 BIOS to to be used as the in addition to the system system diagnostic bias, I will show you shortly some pics after I finish soldering this. Nearly finished, touching to the pin of the 68. There it's on, and then flatten it out. Must must reflow and they are putting flat on the on the PCB. So I will show you some pics of the cart I made. I burned the upper section of the of the game uh, and the uh, lower section is a uh, diagnostic M1 a pull up ensures that uh, when the jumper is off the game boots and when the jumper is uh, on the diagnostic M1 boots so I made it like this It uh, so I could use a game as both a test game and a test cartridge so here I'm in uh, test mode You can hear uh, everything worked including sound So here I'm in I put back the universe bias I put the, my cart in game mode And you can see it boots No sound problems, no graphical problems. Everything works. So it's done. I I hope uh, it could help uh, you in repairs. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.